and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Yeah. That's the sign. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shop, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together, we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Okay, five reasons you need compression socks. Mm. Uh, hint, LeBron James wears them. You know who he is, right? Well, yeah, he's uh, he plays football. Kind of foot <laughs> yeah, I know he's basketball. All right. I know. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe Ooh. to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com and go to the giveaway section. That's right. We're always giving something away. Giving away a beauty this week again. We're giving away a far infrared heating pad. Right. The platinum model. That's right. So heats 2.36 inches. Right into the muscles, yeah, skin, the joints. Really works well. Yeah, Anyways. Regular heat only goes like this. This goes like that. Mm, yeah, huh? yeah. Uh, go to bobandbrad.com as far as Facebook, too. I'm sorry. That's what it's called. Yeah. Um, you can also go to Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. And we have what, Brad? Oh, the podcast. Yeah. I was just thinking about the scientific measurement <laughs> you're doing. We got this much and then this much. But no, we... All right. So... <laughs> As you can see, I've got some compression socks on here. They go all the way up to my knees here. Yep. Here, here's one, how it looks off the body. And I, I've got one on and then one off because I wanted to see the difference. Well, it's going to throw it off. Well, I walk a little crooked. But. Uh, so what do the compression socks do? So the veins in your body, they, they return blood to your heart for oxygenation. Sure. Oxygenation. Can I say that? Yeah, so they get the, oxygen. Yeah. But they have to work against gravity mm -hmm. to return blood to the heart. So a lot of times they become weaker and inefficient over time. Sure. Lots of time, you know, my wife had great difficulty with these because of uh, three pregnancies. And yeah. uh, they became uh, expanded, I guess, and right. painful. And, and, and typically, in a real healthy person, you know, your contraction of your muscles when you walk and uh, use the muscles in your legs, that helps pump that vein that blood that needs to be oxygenated back up but as we age a lot of times things with pregnancy and there's certain things that they become weaker right and now they're finding out as like lebron james i don't know i don't think he has any problems except for he's a high level athlete and he want to maximize the return so they can become more efficient and well lebron players. james actually he had a, an episode where he his legs were cramping during a playoff series. And oh, they, I see. They actually had to pull him out of the game during a critical yeah. point. And so he, you know, at from that point on, he, he was wearing compression socks even during the game. Sure. And I don't know if it helped with the cramping. I didn't see any more incidents of it. So sure. it, it probably did. Um, by the way, T uh, Tanner, uh, we're going to change this to seven reasons. You need compression. <laughs> I just realized I... I changed it to seven, and oh, uh, but I better do this. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so um, you should check with your doctor before you use any compression socks because uh, we're going to tell you seven reasons for people who may want to use it, but mm -hmm. we're also going to show tell you some reasons you should not use it. Sure. So, and the reason I came upon this, Brad, is because I I went to back to standing a lot at my standing table, sure. and I just kept thinking. This is hard on my veins. You know what I mean? Sure. Just complete standing, no yeah. movement. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to start wearing compression socks when I when I work at my desk. So have you so, worn them for a full day yet? No, I haven't worn yet. Okay. Uh, this is the first time. But it, now these socks are graded from 20 millimeters to 30 millimeters of, of mercury pressure, right? Right. The compression. Yeah. And the compression is more at the toes and less up here. Right. So it's trying to push the fluid back up into your body the way it should go. The fluid doesn't go out your toes. Right. It goes right up into your body. And you, when you look at it like like this uh, box of stamina, it says graduated compression socks. When it says graduated, that's what they're talking about. There's more pressure distal or in the foot or the toes and less as it goes up, just as Bob explained. Very good. Thank you. So uh, number one, if you're an athlete, it's they have found out this seems to be pretty solid that it does help speed up post recovery workout. So, so like when you get done, you might want to go ahead and put some compression socks on, and the 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 legs will or, or the you can they also actually have them for the arms and and sure. mid body too. Mm -hmm. They they will recover quicker. So, but I also 
uh, aren't they wearing it during the event, during Some the activity? Of our, yes, and the, the, the studies are a little more questionable on that, uh, but I, I saw one that it, it did help soccer players mm -hmm. with their endurance. Um, runners, again, some show it does, some show it doesn't, but... You know, if you can get an edge and it doesn't bother you, why not wear them? Yeah, I don't think there's any negative to it right. for, for someone like that. You know, we did a, a video on this many years ago, and I found a study on um, marathon runners. No. Oh. And it showed positive results sure. with them. It wasn't, you know. It wasn't. It wasn't bringing them down real, by 10 minutes. Right, but I, right. And I don't remember the exact, but if you look at compression socks, Brett, Bob and Brad, you'll see an old one and. I have less gray hair at that one. Too. Okay. Now, uh, people who are confined by, uh, have to, you know, be in a wheelchair. Uh, and right. I used to work with a lot of um, uh, population that fit in that category. Sure. And they did wear a lot of, especially younger people, we, we would have them wearing compression mm -hmm. socks. So, Well, people, maybe you're going to, I'll, I'll, well, I'll come in later. Okay. With uh, pregnant women. Okay. Of course, that we already talked about that. Very important. Um, if you're an airplane passenger and if you're going to go on a long flight, mm -hmm. uh, we, that's why we recommend also doing ankle pumps. Uh, but your risk of a blood clot goes up on an airplane, um, a deep vein thrombosis. Is it has to be an airplane or just sitting still for a long time? I don't know if time? there's something about the pressure on planes too, but it's sitting still for a mm -hmm. long time, yeah. right? Because if you're going to be even, yeah, in a car for a long, long time, yep. you may want to, you know, make sure you're getting, taking breaks and, Right. And, and, and the same on the plane, you can get up and walk. Sure. So, so number five, people who are on their feet all day, that's what, that would be me standing at a standing desk, you yep. know, on those days, uh, or if they sit all day. So, um, if you're trying to decrease the pain from varicose veins, mm -hmm. this, this may help. And, uh, if you are trying to manage orthostatic hypotension, so that's the type of uh, when your blood pressure drops, when you stand, or it's just not bring you know, it's the blood pressure is not yeah. going uphill. So it can happen getting out of bed or going from a seated to a standing position. Yes. You get lightheaded and you feel like you maybe you're gonna fall. It's because the blood pressure to your brain goes down temporarily just for a little bit. So wearing them down here is gonna assist that or yes. Get, yeah, okay. So we, you know, I'm sure you've done this, Brad. I mean, we used to measure blood pressure with somebody lying down. Mm -hmm. Then we'd have them sit up and measure it, and yep. then we'd have them stand up. And yep. Just keep it, the cuff right on them. And, yep. yep. If it drops, t you know, 10, 20 points, you got orthostatic hypotension. Right. So, all right. Who should not be doing this? And you want to check with your doctor to, to make sure. Mm -hmm. But if you have ischemia, like peripheral artery disease, where you have a lack of oxygen to the limbs. Yep. You you won't want to do it. Uh, peripheral neuropathy where you have damaged nerves. Sure. Uh, you won't want to do it. Uh, CHF or congestive heart failure. Now that the reason you don't want to do it with that is because you might have gained some fluid and you could actually pump, pump the fluid up to your and your heart can handle all the fluid that it's taking. Too much too soon. Too much too soon. I think there's times where these can be worn, but you want to work with someone That's, who's certified and yeah uh, you know we had aaron on yeah and talked about that he i would feel very comfortable if he said yeah it's time to put compression socks on. right if my mother wanted them as a matter of fact i did talk to him about that at one time but yeah but there's a, if there's, you got a lot of edema in your legs yeah just don't put these on without checking with your doctor because uh or a therapist who's certified right you may have that. a heart decision uh problem that you should not be wearing socks and, and right, yeah. bringing much fluid up right away. Uh, if you're diabetic, it's sure. possible. And that's the same with the peripheral mm -hmm. neuropathy. Um, if you have cellulitis, you have an infection down here, you don't want to be putting yeah. a sock over it. And then if you're allergic to materials like, I don't know what these are made of, but uh, if you're allergic to anything like this. Well, um, see what they're made out of. and Yeah, exactly. You know, you'll know after you're wearing them for a while, they start itching, turning red, rash, that kind of a thing. So you're supposed to hand wash these, huh? Oh, no, machine wash is okay, too. So I know one thing that I've always worked with my patients anytime uh, if there's a swelling issue or whatever, sometimes these socks I can see are, are pretty nice. They're going to stay stay up, stay but sometimes up, yeah. they'll roll down and I call it the tourniquet. Yeah, they're even worse. Yeah, so they then you get a band right, yep. right around here and it acts just like a tourniquet, and then you'll start getting swelling below where it's right. rolled up, and you don't get that return flow of the edema. You st you're still getting circulation through your artery and your veins, but that lymph 
It's right. right below the skin, and that it traps well, it, it seems in. Like a lot of those Ted stockings we used to do that. Remember those? Yeah, those white yeah. ones. They they used to roll down and do that. Yeah, all the we're time. talking about with patients that we've yeah. worked with, and they'll have uh, compression garments on, and yeah. they roll down. It's a big frustration. But that's another story, Bob. Yeah. Well, not. It's all related, though. No, it is, and yeah. and uh, you know that's why. Again, you'd, you maybe need to check with your doctor what your your compression would be, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, again, these are 20 to 30 millimeters. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, Cause they make some that are more than that. More and uh, some that I believe are less. Yeah. Maybe. I think, uh, yeah. I'm not, I, I don't remember at that one if it was down to 15. I had a friend who, uh, worked, did a lot of walking. Uh, it was on concrete. I don't know if that really mattered. Uh, but he started using them because his legs would ache by the oh, end sure. of the day. And he was only about 50 years old. Did it help? Yeah, it did. And so he, he was happy wearing these. Um, so, yeah, he bought a number of pairs so he could change every day. Well, I'll have to report back how mine feel. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I didn't have any trouble with swelling or anything, but I just kept, you know, I'd stand there and I'd, I'd be thinking, I'm, you know, I'm standing a long time yeah, and, yeah. and not moving. So. so you can look them up. There's a lot of different yeah, manufacturers. Yeah, there's a lot of different types. You don't have to choose the one that we chose by any means right yeah. uh you know do a little you know homework on it and, and basically you, you pick them out and you try them you might find that you really like them and you might find it's like oh, oh we should say they are hard to put on you yeah know, uh, you said your parents stopped doing it because they they, they couldn't get yeah them. and they were you know older sure you know but uh, they just said it's too much work Sure. And they had them on it. They didn't think the benefits were, were, sure. were worth it, but uh, I, I knew that might happen. They make <laughs> devices to help put them on, uh, but we'll have to show that sometime. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, that works. So. so, all right. This feels good, though. You know, they should feel yeah, good. You should have do. good results as a result. Really you shouldn't be seeing any uh, swelling or uh, puffing or anything like that as a result of wearing them. And then. Uh, um, and know. remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Oh, yes, except for. A broken heart. But we'll work on it. These Just, aren't going to help. They got the, the circulation thing, though, you know, yeah. for getting, We're more getting there. blood up there. Peace out. <laughs>